Joining Arab Talk from Ramat Gan in Israel, director Ram Levy, to discuss his latest film, The Dead of Jaffa. Welcome to Arab Talk, Ram. Thank you. Just pre briefly to our audience, I uh, uh, just want to let our audience know a little bit about Ram Levy. He started his career in 1966 with the documentary My Name is Ahmad which shocked Israeli audience by putting a disposed Palestinian at the center of his narrative. His 1978 television film, Khirbet Khizr, portrayed the expulsion of Palestinians by Israeli troops in 1948 and questioned the morality of Israel's actions. First, it was censored in Israel. Uh, then it became a major subject of, of debate. Uh, your latest film, uh, Ram, The Dead of Jaffa, also touches on these complicated subjects. So first, please tell us what the film is all about and what prompted you to, to make it. Well, uh, what made me make the film uh, is something which made me make all my films, all most of my films. It has to do with a Jewish-Arab conflict which is an endless subject, which is a part of our hidden or obvious or, or open uh, subject of our life. And uh, I feel that uh, for the audience, Israeli audience, uh, I need to show the human side of the Arabs, the Arabs. And it's therefore I'm doing these films and uh, I hope uh, it gets to them. Well, I watched the film. It's actually uh, gives a very good uh, picture and, and actually gives a reality check, e even though it is, this is not a documentary. This is a, a fictional story. It's, uh, tell us a little bit about it. I mean, I know it's like the main characters, three children from the West Bank who were smuggled into Israel, arriving at the doorstep of George and Rita's house in, in Jaffa. I mean, and, and then you take it from there. So... So what's the message, the hidden message in that film? Uh, there's no hidden message. The messages are open and it's mainly human. It's, talk, it's telling the stories of human, be, human being in the middle of the conflict. And uh, there are two sub subjects. The, su the main subject is, uh, as you could see, the subject of the three children from the West Bank coming to Jaffa trying to get to get uh, refuge uh, after the mother died and the father uh, is in jail. And uh, the way they are treated or being uh, part of the household of uh, Rita and George, uh, uh, George being uh, a grocer in Jaffa, and Rita and George don't have children. So in a way, it's very dangerous for them to hide Palestinian uh, on the other hand, uh, for Rita, it's a very big joy uh, having children after they didn't have children before. This is a sub, this is a main plot. The other plot is a story of a director, a British director, who makes a film about his parents uh, in 1947. They both uh, uh, were uh, working in the British Army during the. 1947 in the uh, British occupation of Palestine. And uh, this love story or the this love story is the other subject of the film. And both of, both of the subject and the other subject are treated uh, in the film together. Yeah, it's, it's, it's multiple subjects really interwoven uh, together. It makes a very beautiful story because part of it is uh, you know, it's about these people becoming characters or actors in a film that is being made uh, in Jaffa. Now, I mean, this is a little bit different than your other films, uh, where, which were really kind of shocking to the Israeli public. Uh, you know, the, the topics that you discussed uh, in your earlier films, Palestinian expulsion, uh, what the Palestinian called uh, the Nakba, injustice, occupation, 
were tabooed. You know, people weren't talking about it. Now, everybody's talking about it. Now, I, I, I read every day. I read Haaretz. I read Ma'ariv, Ode, whatever. I try to get the news. Everybody's discussing this openly. Yet, things have gotten worse. Instead of things becoming better, even though everybody is aware of these things, they've gotten worse. Uh, I mean, what do you think about that? I mean, <laughs> you're be, you've been working for decades to kind of portray a, a, or connect the societies basically through film and shed light on, on the reality, but it hasn't improved. It hasn't improved, and I'm not sure if films can really improve the situation. I can try, but I, uh, we don't, uh, we are not really able to to change the situation. Although gradually, we hope we are doing something. People are listening to us more than they listened before. See, uh, Bibi, for his own interest, started talking to the Arab population as if they are human beings, which he didn't do before. Uh, gradually, things are better understood by the Israeli Jewish public uh, than they were understood before. Uh, it still is far away from what I would uh, have liked it to be, but it's uh, uh, some step forward to the towards understanding the Arabs. And I believe that in the film you can see also um, the subject which is hidden usually in Israeli public, and this is the Nakba. Uh, the fact that Palestinians uh, uh, were either expelled or ran away, uh, or but were part of the Palestine population, the bigger part, and they are now refugees, most of them are refugees. And uh, I, this is a subject which was hidden, or still is trying, the, the Israeli establishment tries to, to shut it up, not to talk about it. Well, it's even, I mean, more than this, uh, just on Monday, uh, the largest Israeli human rights uh, organization, uh, B'Tselem, uh, um, you know, issued a statement basically saying Israel is now apartheid. I mean, uh, and I'm reading from their statement from the B'Tselem, they said Israel is not a democracy that has a Israel is not a democracy that has a temporary occupation attached to it. It is one regime from the Jordan River to the Mediterranean Sea, and we must look at the full picture and see it for what it is. Apartheid. This is you're 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 familiar with Beth Salem, right? Yes, yeah, sure. I mean, I mean, was was I mean, because again, I go back to your film is making that connections between Palestinians and Israelis and Palestinians from. Uh, the West Bank coming to Jaffa and wherever, and then you have this largest organization, the human rights organization, and saying the, rea the reality on the ground is uh, is not what you really see in you know in the news. And we've now crossed the threshold. It's no longer about occupier and occupation, but it's more uh, an apartheid. Do you see it this way, or you differ from that? There are, there are points of apartheid, of course, in Israeli uh, behavior towards the Palestinians. Still, Israel is a, a, some kind of a democracy, despite all that. It's a, and therefore, for instance, I can make the film. And such a film and some of other, other films which I made uh, were made by Israeli public money, most of it. Although this film was uh, also financed by my family and friends. But, uh, but mainly uh, the Israeli public uh, paid for it, the governmental money paid for it, which is, uh, I think, a very uh, big uh, step forward. Uh, not because I made the film, but because it says, the talks about the tendency to do things which were not done before. How was its uh, reception in Israel? I know the film... Uh was first shown at the Jerusalem Festival in, yes. uh, in, in 2019. And uh, how did the uh, Israeli uh, view it when you, when you showed it? The Israeli public, the Israeli critics were very hopeful, very, thank, very uh, happy about the film. And they, were, they, they, they wrote uh, 
very nice critics about it, many, many of them. Uh, the public was split into two, the, the people who, who uh, don't really understand the, the reason why I'm working on the subject, uh, so it was so, making so many films on the subject, uh, and they think we have our own problems to speak about, to talk about, and some people which were hugging me and, uh, and they were, were very happy to, to see the film and to understand what I'm talking about because they are, they, they understand it much more than they do, did understand before. Did you have the opportunity to show it in the West Bank, in the, Ramallah, or uh, where you have a Palestinian audience? Palestinians, Israeli Palestinians did see the film in, before the coronavirus started. Uh, but uh, I, I hope to show the film uh, in the West Bank, uh, uh, after the coronavirus will leave us. Uh, well, we hope that uh, people can watch the film because I just want to tell our audience right here in, uh, in, in San Francisco and in the United States, your film, the film is The Dead of Jaffa, it's now being streamed on Link TV. So if you go to our listeners and viewers, if you go to linktv.org and uh, you can actually watch it, uh, and I know in the United States that's been streamed in the United States. I don't know if there are any restrictions for people to sh watch it uh, from Israel on Link TV or from the West Bank, but they can actually now, because you have that streaming power and because everybody now is in lockdown, they can watch it at home, right? Right, of course. And, uh, let's, uh, I, I miss the, the situation of audience in a, in a cinema because uh, this is a different kind of uh, looking at films when you see it with the, to, together with the audience uh, who uh, sometimes, by the way, laughs uh, because there are elements of, uh, of uh, absurd in the film which made, made the audience at the beginning and then first saw it in Jerusalem before the, the virus came. I was amazed how people understand subtext which exists underneath the text and laugh at the time, although the film is not a, rock, not a comedy. Uh, but uh, the result is very often a combination of uh, amazement, sorrow, and, uh, and laugh. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we all miss the big screen and, and anyway, I mean, nothing like uh going into a movie theater and, 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 and for you as a filmmaker, uh, seeing the audience and then, of course, uh, interacting with the audience. But this is uh, the life that we have now. Hopefully things will return to normal. Uh, I know you guys are doing much better uh, now with the vaccine uh, in uh, Israel, uh, doing a better job than the United States. <laughs> because we're way behind and then hopefully in in few months people can get out and see their family and enjoy film and 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 laughter but there is a possibility to see the film at home now which was yeah. a, which is important to stress that it's a it's a different kind of showing but still it's a it's a film which may work and you feel at home you feel as if the people on the screen are part of your family, which is uh, also good in a way. Well, this is great. Uh, we've been speaking uh, about the, you, uh, you know, your film, The Dead of Jaffa. This is uh, director uh, Ram Levy, and you can watch the film on linktv.org. I want to thank you, uh, Ram, and hopefully we can talk uh, very soon. Thank you very much, Jamal.